The one nobody really has heard of, and this is another personal one for me, Ooh. is the haunted radio station in Jasper in Walker County. Ha <laughs> um, No, hadn't heard this one. Yeah, I did this story back in 2007 when I was in TV. Uh, it is no longer a radio station. They have moved. I was trying to verify that earlier and could not and got on Google Maps and found the location. And just so happens there was a four lease sign in the yard when the Google car drove by it last time. <laughs> the tower the tower's still there, as you see in the back, but uh, nothing. It, it's hard to say, but the call letters used to be above that bay window or over here somewhere. I think it was above the bay window. Um, and it looked very much an operation then. Now, it, or at least last time the Google car went by, um, it doesn't look like anything really is going on. I think the last time I drove by there over the last year, it looked fairly empty or there was an insurance office in there. I forget which now. Um, but anyway, it was built as a home. This is actually a house. It is right yeah. on the edge of a neighborhood next to uh, a busy highway uh, through Jasper and a shopping center uh, for that matter. Uh, the original owner, I believe, he was the original owner, was a man named George Vines, who was a car dealer. He was a Mercury dealer and ultimately Mercury, Lincoln Mercury dealer in mm, Jasper crazy. for several years. Crazy about a Mercury. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The personal thing for me is my grandparents lived in Jasper. My dad grew up in Jasper mm -hmm. and my grandfather bought Mercury's um, and was about the same age as George Vine. So it was George, George and my grandfather were actually friends. They were clients okay. at least. Oh, wow. um, my grandfather was in civic organizations in Jasper. He was the president of the Kiwanis club uh, for a time of which George was a member of uh, over the years. So George Vines and my grandfather actually knew each other. Uh, he predeceased my grandfather by some 15 years, I believe, 13, uh, 14, 15 years. Um, but George died about 1974, and the radio station at some time, I don't think too terribly long after that, moved in. The original radio station, I think, was called WWWB, and when I went here, it was WIXI, and I think the station has gone dark. I don't think it's in service anymore. It may be just somewhere else, but I don't think it's on air anymore. Um, but after the radio station moves in, um, not terribly long after George passed, uh, strange things, of course, began to happen because he died in his home. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember, my dad couldn't remember this uh, being the case, but I was told at the radio station when the funeral occurred, they had him at the house and that his casket was set in front of that bay window. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. As a matter of fact, because a lot of people knew George. Yeah. Um, and that's how they would pass by paying their respects. Oh. Um, but of the strange things that occurred, doors would open and close on their own, lights would be turning on by themselves, and the occasional voice would be heard. Um, yeah. The audio board would be right facing out that bay window. So your DJ would actually be sitting there looking out the window. Uh -huh. You hmm. could go by and wave at the DJ and such as that. Yeah. Uh, but one night, the sister of a DJ who was working uh, one particular night drove by and saw somebody standing behind the DJ. And called in and said, hey, there's somebody standing behind you. And they say, well, there's somebody here. And I was like, well, there was definitely a body behind you. <laughs> um, nobody else was in the house. Couldn't have gotten in. Don't know what happened. So there you have it. Probably the funniest thing about this story is, or at least it was pretty funny in the story I did, was that the toilet seat would raise on its own. <laughs> yeah. it's in the story I did, I... <laughs> Slammed the toilet seat down, threw it in reverse in editing, and slowed it down to where it looked like it was sprayed. <laughs> 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 but they swore. Guy, the guy even at the station, this had been a constant, this happens, swore it still happened. And it had huh. been a radio station. At the point I go in there in 2008, it had been a radio station for at least 20 years at this point, um, <laughs> if not a little more than that. So they said, these are things that really do happen. We have to watch out for that freak us out because they'll be there by themselves more often than not when they're running the radio station, nobody else is usually there. And those are the things that would happen. Huh. And just a little bit about George Vines. There's some of his ads. Cause I could not find a picture and I'm me and my dad could not figure out if that's him or that's him. <laughs> uh, but Carl price and George Vines were in business together. At one point, mm -hmm. George was in business by himself. I can remember Carl price. Uh, so he's a little younger than George. He was still around when I was a little boy. Yeah. Uh, George had long since passed by that point. Um, but yeah, Huh. Well, I like the idea of, cause you know, if you listen to the podcast, you know, I'm a former DJ and, um, I like the, the fact you could see out the, the window at the, the street 
my first radio station I worked at was WKMX and it was based there at Enterprise uh, 106.7 and our control board you could you could look out and see the streets you could it, it overlooked the Bull Weevil Monument uh, there in, in downtown Enterprise and as you're looking down there uh, at some point somebody decided to have a little fun and actually shoot the window so when I was there, there was still a bullet hole <laughs> in the glass that you could, you know, if you're looking at the Bull Weevil Monument, and there's the hole and like, well, you know, hello to you too, Enterprise. <laughs> Bull Weevil Monument. You can't get much more Southern than Bull Weevil Monument. <laughs> no, nope, definitely look that up if you don't know that story. I think old George, though, he just wanted to help out the yeah. radio station. He, he might have so. had a... He might have been trying to get a request in, you know, Probably. either that, or if you had to go to the restroom, he was just trying to help keep yeah. everything clean. There you go. <laughs> yeah. a seat, please. He was a fairly nice guy in life. So he was probably just helping out. 